and welcome to a special Hidden Walks. My name is Gemma. I'm the North East Access Team's Countryside Community Engagement Ranger. And we're here today at St. Catherine's Hill on the outskirts of Winchester. Some of you may be thinking, what can I do with my children during the school holidays? Now this is a perfect walk for kids. Hence why our very special guest Dulcie is here today. She is my niece and she's going to be testing this walk out for children. So we're going to get her point of view throughout the walk. Now behind me is the car park. It's a free of charge car park, so it's ideal. It does get a bit busy, so there is parking on the laybys on Garnier Road, but also we've got the park and ride opposite where you can park too. And we are going to finish here as well and treat ourselves to an ice cream at the Handlebar Cafe behind us. So let's go on the walk. We've got some historical interest. We've got some wildlife that was going to be quite interesting. So let's go and have a look. And Dulcie, let's see what we think of it, shall we? Shall we go? Yeah. We are going to start on the Itchen Way, which is one of our long distance promoted routes. And it heads straight down behind me next to the River Itchen. So it's really, really pretty. This sign obviously clearly states where we are. Now, Dulcie, why is it important to follow footpath signs? Because you can get lost and you get less signal the deeper you go. So it's really important to stay on track, isn't yeah. it? Good idea. So shall we go and follow the footpath? Yeah. Let's go. So Dulcie, why do you like exploring the countryside? Because it's really just fun to get out there and be who you want to be and just like have an adventure and explore. Oh, I like that. So what is your ideal adventure? What do you want to get from a walk in the countryside? From a walk in the countryside, I sort of, I want to find new things, discover things I haven't seen on the walk before. Okay. Do you like to like spot animals? Yeah, I like to spot animals themselves and I also like to see animal paw prints and stuff because oh, so animal tracks because yes. I love to find out what type of animal track they are. Right so now that's our little part of the Itchen Way done. We are shortly going to be turning off to the left heading towards the plague pits in St Catherine's Hill. Shall we go? Yep let's cool. have some fun. Yeah. Right so here we are we're at the gate and it's the entrance to St Catherine's Hill. But first of all, we're going to get Dulcie to explain what these signs mean. Over to you, Dulce. This one is a bridal way. Three types of people can go in. One that's riding a horse, a cyclist, and just people that are walking. This one is about open fire. Please do not light any bonfires or barbecues because it could catch a wildfire and then it would be very unsafe for loads of other people. Now, this is about cleaning up after your dog because this is a lovely place and you don't want to have loads of dog poo and stepping in it. Please do look at the video that we've got on our YouTube site which explains about dog poo and the importance of clearing up. Click up here! So St Catherine's Hill is a triple SI site, so that is a site of special scientific interest. And it's a really cool place to come for wildflowers. So around June time is where you get your real boom of wildflowers, but we're still in August, we're still seeing some really nice ones here. We've already seen a white-tailed bumblebee, which is quite cool. And you do see lots of butterflies too, so it's a really nice spot to just take a moment, crouch down and get amongst the flowers and just have a look and see what you can spot. because. There are lots of tiny little critters on some of these flowers, which you would miss if you just walked past. So it is nice sometimes, isn't it, Dulcie, to take yeah. a moment to stop and look and see what you can find. Yes, it's really fun too. And I've tried and named a lot of flowers. There are, there are thistles over here. They're beautiful. And there's a red clover over here. So take your time and have a look at, and think about what types of flowers they could be. So we've come into the reserve, St Catherine's Hill, and the first thing we do find is our plague pit. So it's this mound just behind us here. Um, so obviously the bubonic plague um, is a big part of the UK history. I mean, every uh, major city, major community, you might find plague pits on the outskirts. Understandably, people are really fearful of the plague, so didn't want the dead to be buried close by. So hence why you'll find plague pits throughout the UK. It is quite fascinating, this part of history, isn't it, Dulcie? Yeah, it's a fascinating medieval history on our doorstep. So another reason why you might want to come and explore St Catherine's Hill, there is so much to see here, and the plague pits behind us. So next, we are now going to head up the 333 steps to the peak of St Catherine's Hill. Now, it is important to note, this isn't the only route up. These are the only stepped route up, but it's quite a famous part of the hill, shall we say, so we felt we had to get our step count in today yeah. and do it. 
So are you ready? Yeah. Have you had enough snacks to get you up there? I'm still having one now. Excellent. So we're going to get some energy in us and we're going to tackle the steps now. Yay! Let's go. When you get to this side hill summit, you know you're nearly there. Only a little bit to go, guys. So Dulcie, why is it important that we look after our environment? Because this, this view is so beautiful, isn't it? If you want to go on a walk, you can come to this place and be happy and everything, rather than just staying at home doing boring stuff. And so what about all the animals that live here? Why is it important to, to keep our green spaces for the animals? Because it's their home and they live there and stuff. If you can see down there, there are, there's a bird flock and they live together as a family. If you part their homes, then they won't be as a family. They'll be homeless, won't they? How does it make you feel being outside in nature? Happy. It makes me feel joyful and calm because you can feel the breeze, you can see all the animals, you can hear the noise of all the insects and it just feels peaceful. I agree, I, th I think it feels peaceful too. Right, so when you reach the top, we reach something locally called the Clump, which is a ring of beech trees. And beneath them remains St Catherine's Chapel, a Norman structure built 900 years ago. The chapel was destroyed in 1537. Now, Dulcie, you're going to talk to us about beech trees, aren't you? Do you want to talk about what ID card you've got there? So, I've got a Woodland Trust Leaf ID Guide. Why is it good to bring ID cards out with you when you go for a walk? Because if you're not so sure about all your trees and you find a tree that looks very interesting, you can have a look through and see which one matches and then you can read out some facts to your family or friends that have come with you. Excellent. Right, Dulcie, what have you spotted? This is a cinnabar moth caterpillar and it is it likes ragwort it's kind of hidden because the brownness is the same and as his like sort of oranginess yeah good spot well done welcome to the 17th century Ms. maze the origins of the Ms. maze are obscure although medieval in design it is thought to date from the 17th century the maze fell into disuse for a while but was recut in the late 19th century so look there's winchester cathedral Oh yeah. The view of Winchester there, it's nice isn't it? What's that big building over there? Good question, we can find out later. I've got a question for you. Yes. What do you like about your job and what do you do every day? Well I'm really lucky I think, so my job is to make sure that the rights of way, so the footpath and bridle way that we, we walked on earlier is open for people to access the countryside safely and properly. So obviously we got to St Catherine's Hill using a right of way didn't we? So we've managed to access the countryside by using rights of way. So I think I've got a really good job. Yeah, it sounds like a really good job. Yeah, and volunteers help me do that. So we have lots of volunteers who come out and help as well, which is really nice. Cool. Cool. Right, should we go and have a little closer look? Yeah. Yeah? Come with them. Right, Dulcie, so we've hit the tip of the hill. We've done the Ms. Maze, and now we're going to head on down to the Handlebar Cafe. This is a steep part of the hill, so please look after where you're putting your feet and make sure you're wearing the right footwear. Good I'll idea. Later on, I'll give you more tips. Okay, thank you. Let's go. This is the last scene sign you're going to see because we're very nearly at the cafe, as it says on here, and the car park. So, at the end of the walk, just before we head to the uh, Handlebar Cafe, you'll find this very interesting mural on the brickwork. Um, and it was suspected that it was a Banksy. However, it is not a Banksy. It is a street artist called Hen Dog, and it appeared in 2021. The question is, Auntie Gemma, where will the next one appear? I don't know. We've got to keep our eyes peeled. But it's ice cream time now, isn't it? Yeah! Woo! Let's go. Let's go get ice cream. Right, so we've got our ice cream. That's our little treat for doing the 333 steps, isn't it? Yeah. So, have you enjoyed your walk today? Yes, it's been really fun just hanging out with these two and showing other kids 
what it will be like to go outside in the wildlife and just have fun. So if your, your school friends wanted to come out and do a walk like this, what tips would you give them? So, one, um, you want to wear kind of walking boots or trainers. You want to wear sort of the right clothes, like a t-shirt, shorts, uh, leggings. You want to stay on the footpath because you could get lost otherwise. You want to have a phone with you or a map that's just so you don't get lost on your way around. I'm sure you won't because there are loads of signs and stuff around, but if, if that does happen, you need to have a phone. What about if it's a warm day? What do you think you should do? You should have a rucksack with drinks, um, snacks, and you want like a hat, uh, some sunglasses, and loads of other things that would prepare you for different types of weather. Good tips, thanks Dulcie. I really hope you've enjoyed this hidden walk. We certainly have, it's been glorious weather today. Um, please don't forget to comment if you go on the hidden walk. We'd love to hear about your experience doing it and come out here in all weathers. There's something to see every time you come out here. We've got Instagram, we've got LinkedIn, we've got Facebook, so please do follow us. And what is the last thing you'd like to say, Dulcie? Like and subscribe. This is fun. Way better than going to the tennis court with Nan and Ed. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I was doing is that because you were doing me. <laughs> I've got a wobbly tooth and it's bleeding. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is bleeding. Is it? It tastes disgusting. Can I be sick? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't get the plague. You have to dance around like a chicken ten times. Right, I'm just going to go keep that in. <laughs> They've been taken over our environment. So cool. <laughs> oh, it's deep. Oh my gosh, my laces are under. It's alright, keep walking for a minute. Yep. Just until we get down to the bottom and they've stopped filming. <laughs>